Good morning. I'm David McGowan. I'm here with Melissa Ross as a guest, and I was sitting there watching the program as you were right next to you, and I was thinking, wow, this must be very strange for you, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> you have owned the chair that I'm sitting in for 14 years. Yeah. So how does it feel? It feels incredible to have had the chance to do this job for 14 years. Let me first say that. And I'm so grateful to see all of your faces out here today, a live audience, many of whom are my friends. Give yourselves a hand for being here. Thank you for coming. And, and thank you so much for supporting this show and WJCT Public Media. I just want everyone here to know and everyone listening how much that means, not just to me or to David, but to everyone who works here. As I leave WJCT, I'm going to continue to support this organization every way I can because I think it is so important to this community. And I, I agree with David. What the mission here is, is to bring people together. And, and I know that this show will continue to do that. I think in these times, nothing is more important. That what unites us is so much greater than what divides us. So, so keep supporting it, please. And I know you will. Melissa, we, um, we have talked in the last week or so a lot about this opportunity that you have. Yeah. And I said I wasn't going to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, let me say on behalf of the station and I think on behalf of all of your supporters and audience that we're really excited for you. It is a great opportunity. And we've talked about it as an opportunity to learn. And it's really a special thing when you have an opportunity at a certain point in your career to do something entirely new and to learn from it. And we embrace that here because that's really what we're all about, is about Absolutely. lifelong learning. But I wanted to flip that around for a minute and ask, you started this program 14 years ago. What have you learned during that time? I mean, that's a, that's a long run. I think the list is so long. I mean, where do you even begin? I, I, there have been so many amazing people we've had the opportunity to put on the air and to welcome into our family here. So many smart, talented people. And so I, I guess what I've learned is that this community is rich. Um, this community is rich in talent, in intellect, and in love and humanity, and it's in everyone. And the other thing I learned is that everyone has a good story. You just have to bring it out. Everyone has a good story. Everyone sitting here today has amazing stories to tell. And it's just been my privilege to amplify those stories. I can't think of anything more exciting and rewarding to do. It, other than what I'm going to get to go do now. <laughs> I mean, I'm so excited about Mayor Alec Deegan. Uh, she has been a friend for a long time and used to be a colleague. And I am really excited about what she is going to do for Jacksonville. And I know all of you are too. And so it's just such an honor to get to go to work in her administration and try to continue the kinds of uh, initiatives that we we do here but just in a different way and I think the discussion we just heard with the roundtable encapsulates that yes there are a lot of challenges facing this city but I have confidence in uh, this administration's ability to meet those challenges and and most importantly as the guys said to bring the community along that is so important, and I think that's something that Mayor Deegan believes in with all of her heart. The community is everything, and they've got to have buy into everything that's going to improve this city. So it's just been an incredible privilege to be part of this organization for 14 years that I think does that same kind of work. And I want to 
Let me just, if I could, I want to give you a special thanks, David, for championing not only the show I, the shows I worked on, but everyone uh, in the newsroom and everyone in this building. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, I want to thank, really thank, David Luckin. If it weren't for David, this show never would have made it. He has been the heart and soul of this show from the first day. I love him, and I'm going to miss him. Heather Schatz, the amazing senior producer on this show, she is so talented, and she's going to keep giving her talents. Thanks to everyone in the newsroom and everyone in this building. Thanks to the community for listening and calling in and tweeting and contributing to the conversation, and I know you'll continue to do that because it's a unique platform. And it's one that we've got to keep supporting, and I know that's going to happen. Melissa, I think I'm going to let that be the final word. I will only say that you and I have spoken um, recently, and I said to you, don't start the spin-in already, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you and our audience can expect us to cover the Deegan administration with all the vigor and journalistic integrity that we would cover any other administration. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So with that, thank you so much, Melissa, for your service. We honor you for that and wish you all the best going forward. Thank you so much.